Crop residue has uh, provided many benefits, uh, including protecting the soils against erosion, contributing to soil organic matter, but it also plays a key role in nutrient cycling, and in fact contains significant amount of nutrients like nitrogen. Most of this nitrogen, of course, will be in the organic form, and the question is, will this nitrogen become available to the crop uh, in the next season? And so here is we need to keep in mind a key concept, which is the carbon to nitrogen ratio, which is basically the amount of carbon compared to the amount of nitrogen that we have in some of these uh, residue materials. And so we basically have a couple of different scenarios. Uh, one of them it will be a situation where we have low carbon to nitrogen ratio, uh, which is typically a value below 20. So basically, in terms of the, of the ratio, this typically will happen for residue coming from legumes like soybean, alfalfa, also brassicas, uh, like a radish. All of these will have low to carbon to nitrogen ratio, which basically means there's plenty of nitrogen from the microbes to break down that residue and cycling back that nitrogen in the inorganic and a plant available form. So we can basically uh, uh, count on that nitrogen being plant available. Now, this, the second situation will basically be a high carbon to nitrogen ratio, which will be a residue from uh, things like uh, wheat residue, like we have here, uh, corn, sorghum, which again is going to be very stable type of, of residue. It's going to stay there longer. Uh, basically, the breakdown is going to be much slower in that kind of situation. Now, that's not a bad thing because in that high carbon to nitrogen ratio situation, we're basically uh, keeping that residue on the surface, providing protection. Uh, so it is a good thing to, to have that type of residue uh, available in our cropping system, especially no-till systems where we want to keep that residue in place and protecting the soils. Now there's one uh, consideration there in terms of how we manage fertilizer in that kind of situation. Uh, what happens in a situation where we have a residue with high carbon to nitrogen ratio, we have the possibility of a nitrogen tie-up, which basically that nitrogen fertilizer that we apply basically becomes part of that organic nitrogen and basically not available to the crops. So in this situation, we need to be thinking about how we apply that nitrogen, uh, keeping that nitrogen away from that residue. Typically, that will be injecting the nitrogen, ideally uh, knifing in or concentrating in uh, small bands, uh, concentrated bands, dribbling that fertilizer. All of that, keeping away that nitrogen fertilizer from the residue with high carbon to nitrogen ratio will basically maximize the use of that nitrogen. And so basically we get the benefit from uh, both keeping the, the, the residue, protecting the soil, uh, and as well as uh, maximizing the use of that nitrogen fertilizer and maximizing nitrogen use efficiency.